So one thing that's come up here today is that the quality of the construction really matters. And Guy, you were talking about how the newer homes in that eye of the storm that hit the hardest actually did incredibly well. Michael, talk to us more about like, how should an investor be thinking about construction quality if they're looking to invest in, especially a coastal area in Florida? Definitely. So as far as roofs go, what we saw just being on the ground was the barrel tile roofs, the ones with the huge curve, they didn't do as well. The ridge lines ended up popping up and they would crack a couple tiles on the way, but the metal roofs just did unbelievable. You didn't see any damage to the metal roofs, hardly ever. There was a couple I saw that might've had a ridge line missing. That part of the construction was hugely important. We also had some other advice. We saw a lot of screen enclosures now. But what people said to do during the hurricane is either open up the screen doors or slice a couple screens to save your whole screen enclosure. But as far as the newer construction, it definitely did a lot better. There's just a couple of pointers. If you're interested in purchasing along the coastline, that I would highly recommend. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no question the metal roofs were just the, by far the winners. And then the, what we saw, and we, we probably saw 100, 120 mile an hour winds. And the, but the flat, if you really insist on tile, then you know, flatter tile, the more aerodynamic. It, that's what I have on my roof and it, it was perfect. So again, and almost every asphalt roof we saw had some kind of damage. A lot of them was just on the ridge lines, like Michael said, on the newer ones, the older ones seem to get hit a lot harder, but, and, and the, some of what we didn't talk about is the pros of the, where some people are going to come out really good in this is they're getting new pool enclosures, they're getting new roofs, they're getting, so yeah, they're having to pay a deductible, but they're getting to upgrade their homes quite a bit. And I can tell you the people that I'm in close proximity to are mostly putting metal roofs on because of what we all saw down here with the, the strength of it. It's just, it's a perfect design for Florida. And for those of you who don't know, after, I think it was a hurricane that hit Miami, Florida building codes got really strong. So what they realized is that the, the biggest issue was the roofs were coming off. And so we now have to put rebar in the slab. The rebar is tied into the rebar, in, which is a U-shaped block in the lentil. And then that column is all poured solid with concrete and every truss has a strap over it. So did not see any. The only roof I saw blown off was, I guess there was a couple of them on like 1950s house. And then there was one that was a remodel where somebody had done an addition and lost a roof. But... They, you know, so most part, the structures, you know, even though they, they obtained some damage and the real, real stuff that everybody saw in the news and stuff was where they had water intrusion. Those were where you get total losses or, or severe losses of you know, these homes were in areas that had water get and at a pretty strong level. But ironically, I talked to a guy today that he, he got water and he was in the house and he, he broomed it out and it was low enough that he didn't even need to, to do any repairs really in his house. He got it high and he got it dried out pretty quick. But yeah, but yeah, back to it is there's all kinds of ways to mitigate your risk in Florida is the super bottom line. And we can help you determine whether you want to be in this market. And if you're going to be in this market, what your risk tolerance is. And again, some of the, the most desirable properties are going to be in a little riskier situation. So you got to weigh out your pros and cons. And if, whether you're willing to gamble a little bit or get really good insurance. So that's, people got to figure those, those decisions out. So our heart behind this channel is to give you the unfiltered view. So we're obviously, we're obviously bullish on Florida real estate. We are bullish there for a reason because we've, we've seen its uh, success over the years and we just see incredible trajectory in the future. At the same time, there's pros and cons. There's pros and cons to investing in Florida. And there's definitely pros and cons to investing in certain types of homes and property and certain communities. And so that's where we're trying to give you expertise is, hey, here's what to look out for and here's what you need to know before you make an investment decision. Because even though we're very bullish on Florida, there's a lot of ways you can lose money investing in Florida as well. <laughs> so that's why we're doing this. So feel free to reach out to us. We'll have a link in the uh, show notes. You can leave us comments, any questions you might have. We'd love to engage with you and look forward to seeing you guys on a future show episode. Look forward to it.